and soon it's gonna come into frame. There's a microphone up here if anyone needed to know. I just like literally taped it up with string and it's kind of embarrassing and unbearable, so. Good morning, world! Any more energetic and I think I'd explode! If you've tuned in last video, you would have seen me talk about armature design and the function of your puppet. Now, let's make a mold and prepare to cast it with silicone. Making a mold is all about time and patience. There's gonna be a lot of layers you have to pay attention to and wait for to dry. Something to also keep in mind for this process is there's going to be a lot of trial and error. Your molds can crack, the temperature of your house or garage can throw the chemical balance off. It's really important not to rush this process because in the long run you'll be doing yourself a favor. You can make molds out of many, many materials. I really like to use UltraCal 30. This stuff is really cheap considering the amount you get. Also super easy to mix to get the right consistency. But you are making cement, so if you breathe this stuff in, you'll die. No, I'm totally kidding. But, <laughs> you know, wear gloves and a mask and things like that because it's, it's not... 100% safe. Just try to keep y'all in the, in the safe zone here. Just try to keep y'all there. So I started by spraying the clay molded armature I made with Krylon Crystal Clear. And this seals up any bumps and dents in the armature so you won't get any air bubbles in your mold. Then I found a clean surface, started building on my wall for one half of the puppet. And this can get a little tricky because when you pull the mold apart, you wanna make sure that no pieces will get stuck within the mold. So for this process, I use wet clay for the wall buildup. That's Walter E. Disney. It's a water-based clay that Disney Studios used to use back in the day because the clay would dry a lot slower so they would have more time to work on their sculptures. Then I mixed the UltraCal, poured very lightly to avoid air bubbles, then poured again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Yeah, I kid you not, this process does take a long time. Let the mold completely dry, then flip, and do it all over again. Oh, but don't forget your curing agent so you can pull your mold apart, because that would be bad. For this guy, I'm using Vaseline. That's just what works with UltraCal. If you're using another material for your mold, you should probably do research first to make sure that the curing agent you do use will pry those two pieces apart, because it would really suck if you couldn't get those uh, apart. It's, it's chemistry, it's, it's, it's just chemistry, you know? So pry them apart and there you go. The mold. Aww. Wasn't that easy, folks? <laughs> Kidding. That's why animation takes so long because of the pre-production. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for checking this video out. If you've got any comments, questions, concerns, rude remarks, Leave them down below because I would love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to subscribe and add me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. You are in full control of your life. So go make an awesome one. See you soon. Bye. takes so long because of the pre-production. Yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs>